So I've had the MacBook Pro M1 Max for one year now, and in this video, I will be discussing my experience and how this computer has increased my productivity when editing 4K and 6K video footage and why you should consider upgrading to the MacBook Pro M1 Max. Let's talk about my background. I'm a filmmaker located in Atlanta, Georgia, and I specialize in music video and short film production. I upgraded my MacBook Pro to the MacBook Pro M1 Max because I needed performance, being that I had recently purchased the Red Komodo cinema camera, which shoots in 6K. The Red Komodo shoots 6K, and my 2017 MacBook Pro just cannot handle those type of files. Um, it was bad, man. Uh, the computer was just lagging. Frames would drop when editing in uh, Adobe Premiere. Um, I just had a real hard time, you know, working with that 6K footage, even when using proxies. I mean, it was just time for me to upgrade. And that really discouraged me from shooting 4K. Doc. Tell me you gonna make it, Doc. Doc. Tell me you gonna make it. Doc. Fast forward to now, this computer has really increased my productivity. When editing in Adobe Premiere, I rarely have any issues. I don't get the lagging. I don't get the frame drops. Um, I rarely get any types of glitches. The only time I run into any type of editing issue when dealing with 6K footage is when I have multiple apps open. I got tons of effects and I have, you know, maybe like five or six clips on stacked on top, top of each other. And then I will possibly get some type of lagging. But once I close those apps, usually I have no issues. And even if I do have an issue, I mean, I can literally downgrade the quality of the playback to, you know, uh, 50%. And I have no issue when it comes down to editing. You can literally throw anything at this computer and most projects it can handle with ease. Okay, I have a project pulled up and I wanna demonstrate the power of the MacBook Pro M1 Max. Okay, you guys, we're now in Adobe Premiere. This is an artist that I shot about two months ago. His name is Rio Chapo. This video was shot on the red Komodo. And as you can see, it's flat. I have not applied any effects, any color or anything to this clip. And I'm gonna show you guys what it, you know, as far as me being able to scroll through how powerful this MacBook Pro is. And it's almost, it's just incredible. So here we go, you guys. I mean, look how easy that is. Okay, so I have a a um, conversion adjustment layer here where I converted. I'm about to convert this clip to uh, Rack 709. So I'm gonna just drag this over the top. I added the uh, LUT on a adjustment layer. And as you can see, the adjustment layer intensity is at 100%. And once again, it plays, no glitching, no frame drops. And we can scroll, no issues. That is crazy. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add another adjustment layer. I'm gonna add like a little grade to it just to show you guys what this computer can really do.
as you can see, still scrolls through easy. All right, so I'm, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna double up with this. I'm gonna add a few of these on here, just so you can see. I mean, that's with more, that's stacked up. As you can see, it is still no issues. That is crazy. So let me show you guys also too how quickly this section can be rendered out. Render in and out. I mean, it's blazing. And this clip is two minutes and 43 seconds long. And we haven't reached the minute mark yet as far as the time it takes to render. Well, like I said, a uh, Rack 709 conversion and um, some light color grading. And we are finishing up right now. And that's it, it's done. So let me put this on full, because it was on half. I normally keep um, the uh, the quality on half percent. It just worked better, but I mean, I can take everything off, because I didn't realize I had that on half. So let me just move this off. And then as you can see, still. <laughs> No issues. No issues at all. Let's add this back. No issues. Add this on. I'm gonna just make a minor change. No issues. So, as you can see, man, this this computer is a beast, and I highly recommend. If you are interested in upgrading your computer, upgrade to the MacBook Pro M1 Max, you will not regret it. Overall, I'm extremely impressed with the MacBook Pro M1 Max. It is a top-notch performing computer that is perfect for filmmakers, music creators, uh, engineers, um, anyone that's looking to upgrade their current computer to a more powerful system. This computer is perfect for you and I highly, highly recommend the MacBook Pro M1 Max. Thank you guys for tuning in with me on this one year review of the MacBook Pro M1 Max. And if you have any questions, please leave any questions in the comment section. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Once again, thank you and I'll see you guys in the next video.